In this video, we're going to focus on how we can add more space or padding between ticks in Charge.js 4. So to do this, we'll be using some tricks because by default, it is not possible. However, make sure you first have the border template, which you can find here on Charge.js3.com getting started. Once you're on here, just copy this and you're good to go. Next. If you want to get the source code of this video and many others, check out my Patreon page. And of course, we have a Discord channel. All the links are in the description box. So what we're going to do now is going to scroll down here. And we're just going to look at the Y skill here. So there are a few options and we have restrictions. Let me explain the restriction here. The first restriction is the chart area will always define how much space there is between the tick. So that's number one. So that will mean we could, for example, do this option. We're going to say here, aspect ratio, and we can put in here, for example, number one. Would, would, this would indicate that the width and height will be at a ratio of one to one, which will make it a rectangle as I refresh. By default, it is always set on two for a bar chart. So this is a way to do this. If you're not happy with this, there's another way. It would be here. Let's put this back. There we are. And then in here, we can say, for example, the min, we start at zero. And then the max value, for example, we will end at number 10. By doing that, we're now starting to restrict the amount of ticks values that are shown. Not always sure if this is desirable, but this can be combined with the following. So we can say here, ticks, because we're going to pinpoint the ticks. And we can say here the step size. And we can say here we want to increase the tick by a value of 5. So this is one of the other options here. If I do this now on 20, there we are, like that. So this is one of them. And then the final option would be the max tick limit or ticks limit, if I'm not mistaken. And by default, this is set on 11. We could say we only want to have 4 ticks at the very max. By doing that, it will recalculate and then we'll add the X amount of ticks that is possible and suitable for this. So we could hide the min and max. We can probably get now a different or in this case, this is quite decent. Of course, maybe hide the step size as well. And you can see here, it will not calculate anything else or not consider. But if I change this, then it will work. So these are the options that you do have. 